Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy 60 and welcome back to another episode of Grab the Ox. Yeah, I know, been gone for a while. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling like the whole making videos thing until MFest a couple of days ago. So um, if you want to know what my most recent video is besides this one, just click the card. But we're not here to talk about my videos, we're here to talk about other people's music and why I like it so much. So yeah, let's uh let's do let's do that. Yeah. First up for this week we got hold up. Yeah, I knew my chair wasn't mess with my chair. First up for this week we got um Sayonara with pain. I don't know why I said it like that. It's probably because I'm partially insane. Who knows? But um, Sayonara with Pain. Um, y'all remember Sayonara? This guy finally got a Twitter, and I'm so happy that he finally he's finally like on Twitter because I felt felt like I, that was like the one thing that was stopping him from like reaching a broader audience because before that he was on VK. And VK is like Russia's Facebook in a way. I'm glad that he's finally on Twitter, so now I can like spam his ass. Like, yo, I'm playing hard to music in a video that I made on my channel. Go check it out. And then be my friend. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the song's dope though. <laughs> Um, downtime with a song called Decay. Have I ever featured Downtime? No, Downtime is a new person. Well, new to the series, not new to me. I've been listening to Downtime for like a hot minute. It's that I follow so many people on SoundCloud that you know it gets lost in the mail. Not actual mail. I, I don't. I ain't, I ain't got mail like that. But you get me still. This is um, Decay by Downtime. <laughs> to the series the homeboy Kaki Kafka skip calls him Kitty Kafka and it makes it sound it makes it sound weird when you look at the way you spell it because that to me does not look like Kitty Kafka skit you know it's just pronunciation with regions and accents and things strikes called down for no one off of his I'm not sure if it's out now or if it's still coming out because I haven't I've been on and off with like the internets and sound clouds and things but I get the feeling that Inborn Fears, the Inborn Fears EP is already out. I'll check. It's his vocals on the track, by the way, if you're wondering, like, who's, like, in the background doing the funny voice. It's not funny voice things, it's actually really dope. Straight after that, we got Mist. I never featured Mist. See, Mist is like downtime again. I've been listening to the man for like a hot minute, but first time he's on the series. This is from his Nature-esque EP, released it like earlier on this year. Like, it's an ambient collection of music. feature and it is a video by Ben Hartnett. Um, Double A Aaron on Instagram is 86. This thing is like so stupidly low and static. It doesn't make sense to me, but it makes sense at the same time as a car person because you kind of understand what the man's is trying to do, but still it doesn't make like logically it does not make sense why this car is why this guy's car is so fucking low. But we're not talking about the car, we're talking about the song that was used in the video, and this is um pre by Jazz Cartier. Are you boys love the pre love the pre me? Thanks guys. 
just drive drive past my house and I'm shooting a damn video. Thanks. Awesome. Should have closed my windows. Straight after that, it's um, Ginseng. He's not alone on this track. He's got like Indica, Musagi. I don't know if it's Eliza or Lisa Red, and the legendary 50 grand. 50 stacks, five, well, five zero G. 50 Gs, 50. Okay, I'm just gonna stop. Track's name is Never After, and if you know 50 grand, if you know Masagi, if you know Ginseng, especially Eliza Red, but like specifically 50 grand, you kinda already know what to expect from this. It's it's gonna like pull out that one emotion that you never thought you had and like just like make you stare at it for like the entirety of the song. And it's like it's lit, but it's so lit. these mans for like a hot minute. Okay, Ginseng, I had this guy for like a good four weeks ago, just before I compiled this list. So he's the newest person here, but the rest I've been listening to. So High Performs and Cosmic got together and made this dope track called Reform. High Performs, Reform. I see what you did there. I should probably shut up and let the track do the talking. Yeah. High Performs on the beat. And right after that, it's um, featureable. Yeah, I came to discover that it's actually featureable and not featureable. My bad. Thank you, Skit, for the correction. I keep referencing Skit like I talked to the guy on the reg, but it's all from like the Uso monthly mixes because like he narrates. His mix. This is featureable with um Abanke. Such a cool ad lib that he's got, but yeah, Abanke, Abankai. Like first time I saw this, I said Abankai, but yeah, Abanke. Um, track's called Forgotten. Um, featureable Abanke, Forgotten. It's actually an Abanke track, but it's on Featureable's um SoundCloud page because you know Abanke's SoundCloud is not pro. Support the guy so you can make his shit pro, please, because he needs to make more music. He, he's got yeah, he's got mm, boy. Um, right after that, we got a, we got an oldie. I don't mean, I mean like 2014 oldie. It's like ancient times when we're talking internet. Um, this is Skit and Tajani. It pisses me off that I only discovered this like a month ago when this track is from 2014. I've been listening to Skit for a hot minute and I don't know how the fuck I did not see this. I didn't even find this on Skit's SoundCloud page. I found it on a podcast that reposted this track. But I'm happy I did because this track is actually really dope. It's, um, it was like a collaborative EP between Skit and Tajani. It's like a three track EP, the Sweat EP. This track's called Sweat. If your mind's in the gutter like mine is, you kind of know what that implies. I'm just gonna move on, let the song do its thing, and then go on to the next track. <laughs> to be an auto scenic feature but when I was going through the list again I remembered that it was from a video and I was like you know what fuck it let's just put in two why not this is uh, from I love bass ILB TVs I keep saying worth to see and it's Vortize because places in Austria Vortize the week before now Vortize the event it's kind of like H2O in a way the an official event that happens a fuck ton of car people like come like the week before and just wreak havoc for that whole week yeah it's, it's basically the same thing if you know what I'm talking about you know if you don't watch some videos and educate yourself god damn it fuck it's from their Vortize the week before video I can't remember which part in the video this track was but I like it because it made me feel a way and it's here now <laughs> Genesis. Now 
I don't know if you know, I don't know, like if you've been on Genesis um, SoundCloud page and you, this guy doesn't like put out a track on his own, like every single project or every single track on the Genesis SoundCloud page is a collaboration, which is fucking amazing. I wish more people would actually do this. It's, it's just so awesome, honestly speaking. Now it's Genesis with Astro, Memphis, and Xenophase. The track's called Fate. Thanks. I'm gonna play the track now because that just killed my vibe. Memphis, man. That's it for this week. Um, this week, I say this week, but this list was compiled like fucking month ago. But hey, it's out now. Sorry, it's so late. Yeah, I think that's that's it for this week. Um, hope you enjoyed the music. Hope you enjoyed this video. Rest easy to Lil Peep, man. Homeboy died like a month ago, relatively speaking, when you when you consider the time. And um, yeah, like the song, like the culture just lost like someone really dope who was like about to do things. But yo. Rest easy, Gus. Rest easy, man. It's been your boy Sixes. Another episode of Grab the Ox. See you guys in the next video. Stay fly. You